I have no idea how that happened. You see it? The space. Looks like this has gotten bent out somehow. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Come along. Come along, come along. What did you call that? This is a come along. Come along. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how to get it open. I forgot here. It should be. Shouldn't be watching. Cable. Where's that rope? Right there in the front. The orange one. Pop, what are you doing? Come, so beware. Happy girl. You don't need to put a lot of pressure on it, just hold it. Now it doesn't want to go the other come on. You need to go from one to the next. Anything, maybe it's pulling in this one. Yeah, well, this one can only go so far. Okay, let it go. No, never mind. Yeah, let it go for a minute. This one because usually they have about 20 feet of cord on them. You know the cable? Mm. I don't think I'm gonna have to do this. Pressure. 
Yeah, now they're both nice and tight, and hopefully it should be okay. I don't think I'm going to have to heat it up or anything. This is the first time I've ever had a come along with only a few feet. Every other one that I've had has always had at least 10 to 15 feet on it. What do I got here? I mean, that's about it. I don't have many wraps on it. So, all right, so I'm gonna let this sit for a while. I am gonna oil things down, however, and this, what I'm gonna do here, because I've been finding when I drop this, see this drops down and that's adjustable. The handle gets in the way and every now and then it hits this. Now, when it's like this, I can't drop that or raise that. And sometimes I have to because the ground is too high and I have to bring this up before it even goes down. And when I do that, the handle's in the way. So what I'm thinking about doing is I have a couple of uh, 12 volt, like a worm type gear motor. Uh, I think I'm gonna hook them up because I got 12 volts here anyway. This here way, I can just zoom it with the motor uh, because it just has to touch. It doesn't have to do much more than that. I don't look at, look at it to raise the trailer. I only look at the stabilize so when I drive on it, the front of the trailer doesn't pop up or put a lot of strain on the ball on the ball on the ball so but i have one of those on each side all right so i'm gonna go get some wd lubricant and i'm gonna put this down because i gotta change the wheel this one keeps going flat and uh just the one yeah well if you see why uh Hello, I'm poking my finger through the rim. Yeah. Uh, there's a screw. Put that in there. Uh, so let me get something here. What do I want? That's what I want to know. What do I want to use? Uh, I liked... Well, I don't have any, so wishing I had it is not doing anything for me. That rush check stuff. It's good stuff. Let's try. Let's, yeah, let's drop that. All right, let's try. Wait a minute, do I have some? Where's the lithium? Uh, sometimes lithium just collects dust and dirt. Uh, let's see what I have here. Uh, yeah, I do have some lithium here. But like I say, sometimes it's just more of a nuisance. 